There is no such thing as a coincidence. All right, and what was the purpose of them flagging you down on this second occasion? Oh, get, get the car off the road. I need, need the help with the car. What was wrong with the car? I'm not sure. Okay, but it was wouldn't run? It wasn't moving. All right. Did you take them or one of them to the auto parts store? Yes. What auto parts store was that? That was the Vance Auto on South Road. All right. And did you go inside the advanced auto? No. No. Do you know what was purchased in the advanced auto? They like got a, a hose for the car. A hose for the car? Yeah. Do you hose. know which one of the gentlemen purchased the hose? Oh, shit. Um, there's both of them. I'm both, both of them? Yeah. Okay, so you took both of them to the auto parts store? Yeah. Yes. All right, and you didn't go in to see which one actually paid the money for the hose? No, ma'am. All right. Did you take them back to their car on the side of Monroe Street? Yes. And did you hang around while they worked on the car? Yes. All right. Who was doing the work on the car? I think it was the taller one. You think it was the taller one? Yeah. Did they ask you to do anything else for them after you helped yeah, them with the car? Yes. What was that? Um, grabbed them a room. All right. And did you register for a motel room for them that night? Yes. And you did that in your name? Yes. Where was that? The roadway on North Monroe. Okay. What kind of car did they have when you checked them into the roadway on North Monroe? It's a small. Is it laundry? Mm -hmm. And then I left the house around noon. To go to the liquor store and the stuff for the party? Yeah. Okay, and you went down which road you said? I went down Trescott. Okay. I saw a police car there and I just thought it was blocked, so I just turned around and drove um, drove to, uh, I went down the rest of Centerville, went up Benton, took Benton across, went to ABC Liquors, bought the bourbon. I'm a little confused. You're up on, up on Centerville Road. What's your purpose of driving down Trescott? It's usually the shortcut to get oh. to Monroe. To get to Monroe? I usually take it as a cut through to get to Thomasville or Monroe. Okay, all right, so you... I don't know why I said Monroe. I was thinking Mosaic Monroe, Th Thomasville. Hey, maybe it was a coincidence. Hey, maybe it was a coincidence. She doesn't know why she said Monroe, but maybe we do. What do you think, just a coincidence? Let's go in the Wayback Machine and take a look at that trip she took the day that Dan Markell was shot. Why? If she is here, is she driving all the way to this liquor store down here? Why is she doing that? She could just go this way, go to Publix Liquors, uh, and then go to Mosaic right there. She could have just went this way. Why on earth did she go all the way down here to get liquor here to then drive all the way back up here? Does that make sense to you? Let's take a look again at the road that... Wendy went on for that trip. Is there a Monroe on there? There sure is not. But let's take a look and search. And let's go to more here and let's search along this route. And let's just see, was she thinking of a Monroe that was on this route? Let's take a look. She sure wasn't. Monroe was all the way over here. So was it because she mixed up Mosaic for Monroe? Or it's because she was thinking about the hotel that the hitmen were in the night before Dan Markell was shot. You tell me. But it's a coincidence. Yes, that's all a coincidence. Big coincidence. I got to shout out this comment I got on YouTube that led me to make this video. So thank you. And what do you guys think? Am I diving too deep into this and it's just a coincidence or is there something there? Let me know. Smash that like. Hit the subscribe, share this with people you think will enjoy it, and uh, thank you so much for being here.